That actually Loki worked or not, I just took damage. Anyway, Misfortune has a very fast and efficient 3 strikes combo with auto Q auto for lots of burst damage and we're combining that with Presti attack, Blade of the Ruined King and Kraken Slayer to get the most mileage out of this as possible. And um, then we transition into a more classic crit build. It's a very nice build to play if you're in a game where you can't really ult. And in this game we certainly can't because the enemy has a Yasuo. Uh, anyway, first of all this lane phase might be kind of stressful. Luckily we can buy an early vamp scepter thanks to uh, Blade of the Ruined King components. Uh, but their poke damage will certainly be annoying. You can already tell. Especially with Zera. They're going they have first strike and dark harvest. They're going for a very poke heavy build. I would have liked to play Poke Misfortune myself here, but again, this would mean a more old focus build. And Yasuo uh, means we can't really make use of that. Anyway, we take so much damage. We need early boots and we need early vamp scepter to deal with this. But then we're fine. This is the hardest part of the lane. Okay, dodge that with W movement speed. The more we can dodge, the better, because, well, we don't want to be low against a comp like this, else we will lose a lot of farm. Okay, Zerath now aiming for Zyra. Because he probably does not like my dodging his skills. We're still doing well in terms of CS. Yeah, with this rune setup, double adapt to shard plus absolute focus plus um, Legend Alacrity, you can't really, you don't really have trouble farming. So the question now is, do we go for, I guess we go for W max, it's just better with this build. But Q would be more burst damage. However, with W, we have the nice synergy of overheal plus lifesteal plus W movement speed, because as long as I have the overheal shield, I cannot lose my W movement speed passive. So there's an inherent synergy there. Also with movement speed, we have an easier time actually getting our three auto attacks. We can't really roam here. She's, he's just dead. Oh, he jumped over. All right, he's alive. Never mind. Good job, Echo. I'm proud of you, son. Oh, Zyra took so much damage. She might need my heal here. Please don't die, buddy. She needs to recall. Yeah, there's no way around it. Okay, I'm feeling unsafe. <laughs> Now I'm feeling a little safer, because I know, I mean, I see Shivana on the map, I know no one can sneak behind me here. So we are alright. I just wait for the wave to come into tower, there's no reason. I, I mean, I might miss a couple CS here and there by walking, by not walking up. But that's better than taking damage 1v2. Yeah, I, I didn't dare to go through the auto-attack animation there, because Zerath's skill might have hit me. If they recall here, then that's Loki good for me, because I have all the resources I need to push and punish. Alright. Ah, cancelled no auto. Anyway, I can fast push this, and then recall. Bam, Scepter plus Boots. Cancelled no auto, but didn't want to miss this minion here. I do not quite have the means to push fast enough, I guess. Well, this this could be this could be just fast enough. I recall here, so Zerath doesn't know where exactly I am. He wants to cancel my base. But he does cancel my base. All right. Unfortunate does not begin to describe this series of events. Right, I'll, I'll, I need to base all the way back here, because else they can cancel me again, and I need to get this base off. I lose minions now. <sighs> but I had to. Well, I could have not greedily based here, but instead walked back in the first place. Which would have been better, but hindsight, you know. Anyway. At least Zerath, no, what's her name? Zyra? Now gets some... Um, by the way, a godsend that you can just display the champion names above the health bars. It's so much easier to play that way because the skins can really, or just general visual clarity can sometimes suffer in League. And just having the names there is um, quite valuable as a result. Oh, Echo is on his way, huh?
Zara, please. What are you doing? That's a bold strategy. Anyway, we're not looking quite good, but Zyra is low HP again, which I don't like. Echo is here. But yeah, now the lane is actually quite easy. Trigger press the attack first, then press Q so we get the bonus damage. Shivana's right there. And Zyra has no HP. Zeroth has no HP. On my way. Wow, so fast. Maybe I could have flashed over. Maybe. In any case, we're looking quite good here. With Dragon pressure now, because Zyra... Not what? Shivana is pressured out of the map. <clears throat> she needs to base. <clears throat> oh, I will... I will stop you, my friend. Okay. Or not. <clears throat> but I walked at him just so he couldn't try to mess with us, so he felt the pressure. Anyway, we are... getting this entire wave. And farming is so easy now, we can just walk around with our shield, with our movement speed. Minion auto-attacks don't cancel your... W anymore. Plus we're getting more and more stacks from Legend Alacrity. Low key, I might just ult the next wave for a good base timing. <coughs> oh Zyra. Oh Zyra. Yep. Just leave. There's no reason not to. <coughs> yeah, by doing this, they are now stuck under tower with a cannon minion, and I have all the time in the world to get my items exactly where we want to be. All right. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still recovering from COVID, so um, you can probably tell from my voice and everything. <coughs> but we now have 25 extra AD, and this dagger actually helps us to preserve mana, because with um, more reliable farming with auto-attacks... Oh, he did not take a tower shot, unfortunately. But um, this way we can save spells when dealing with the wave, so we have more mana to actually fight, because, well, dagger makes it more consistent. In any case, we know wait, it's a 1v2 situation, there's no reason to push our luck here. Of course, we can be a little bit daring because we do have lifesteal. I took so much damage just so Zyra doesn't die. Good lord. Luckily, I still have a health potion. But yeah, this Zyra is playing very poorly. We're actually getting dived here. We have heal. It won't matter, will it? Well, get outplayed. <laughs> Man, <laughs> this Zyra is giving me a headache. And she bases there, begging to get killed by Yasuo? Come on, dude. Anyway, we got out of there. Nicely enough. It's it's fine. Okay, we got our um we didn't have enough money for the full item. But we'll get there soon. Yeah, anyway. The early game strength of this build is also not to underestimate. It's like the perfect mix. I think this is the best way to play crit misfortune in the current patch. As you can see, after the triple strike combo we move directly into crit, we then get our mythic of infinity edge to make use of the Kraken Slayer crit. We also don't get crit early, because crit early just sucks on Misfortune, and Blade of the Rune King is a natural fit, because it's a good early Misfortune item. But by the time we get crit, we have enough AD already to make it worth our while. So if you're a fan of 
just pure crit, the old school auto attack based crit, not the um, quick blades crit that I like to use. If you're more a fan of the pure auto attack style with press the attack and everything, then this is the way to go for sure. I mean, I'm I'm done trolling and creating content with Smurf accounts. I'm just playing on my main from this point forward. Unless there's a good reason not to. But yeah, all the games you're seeing, all on my main account, all in the highest elo I can possibly get. I mean, uh, I could probably get higher if I just played more and had more time in general. So, take that with a grain of salt. But, um... Low master-ish lobbies is where it's at. Shivana's behind us. Okay, there we go. Just wanted to avoid the initial gank because I didn't trust the situation. She flames me now, but we had no vision and we're overextended. There's no way I will stay there with you. Okay. Yeah. Enemy's missing. I agree, we should be careful. Good chance Zyra is now so tilted she abandons me. What is she building even? I've never seen a build like that on this champion before. Get more points in W. For nice and easy kiting. And there we go. Jin is base. So I might actually just take a plating and ult the next wave too. By might, I mean I just do. <laughs> Actually getting two platings out of the deal. That's so good. So much gold. The Baos would be proud of me right now. Anyway, we recall, um, we recall here and spend our gold, finally get our items. Jin with Collector first on the Dark Harvest page. Makes sense, makes sense. Mm, get this and double longsword. And since lane phase is about to come to a close, I think we're fine buying the... Actually buying the blue trinket was a slight mistake. The yellow trinket is better since we are returning to bot lane and both towers are still standing. Um, but we can use it to... I don't know, keep a keep an eye here. Yeah, blue trinket is a mistake, I think. I should have reconsidered. Okay. Jin River. I'm pretty sure he cannot fight me right now. Yeah, we just fast deal away with our attack speed and attack damage. <clears throat> and actually... Let's just rotate mid lane for now, because everyone's rotating towards top. So we can cover mid lane as we push bot lane so fast. Nice, clean. We got our three auto attacks off so fast. <laughs> like instantly. Dealing all the burst damage of Presti attack plus Blade of the Ruined King. Can we dive this? Oh god, I missed the cannon. Bad omen. Okay. Jin flashed. There we go. Quick burst combo. He falls. And he has no flash. There we go. Clean. As soon as they get out of uh, auto attack range, you just start pressing R. It's your longest range damage tool. Ease damage is negligible, of course. It's solely for utility.
This time we don't miss the Kana minion. And I think... Oh, we're just barely short of buying our item. Let's farm. We have almost 10 CS per minute. The Baos would be so proud, man. Ah, we still need one more wave. Or, like, two more minions, but... We have to go to the wave for that. There we go. Nice, big power spike. Now with Kraken Slayer 2. We're doing quite well here. 10 CS per minute, 5 kills. Definitely a position from which we can carry. <clears throat> Alright, we got nice attack speed, nice attack damage. Extreme burst between the triple auto here, triple auto here, and the triple auto press the attack. Um, these pings, I'm not sure how to interpret them. Maybe you set up vision for dragon or what they mean? I don't know. Okay. Unlucky. This build's so good at creating pressure around the map. You have so much movement speed with W max. You clear waves so fast. <laughs> you see, Zerath did not uh, break my shields with his Q, so my W movement speed remained intact. You could clearly see it there. Ah, okay, she ults away. Unlucky. I just pushed bot lane. This is... <sighs> yeah, pushing bot lane is the free value for our team. They need to respond to top two. Missing out on a couple minions there, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Misplays happen. Alright, but let's not get engaged on Bayasso. We just create pressure on the bot lane, so we have breathing room to take Dragon for free. That's the deal here. We also get good co uh, get good objective control with this. Good auto damage with lifesteal. Nice attack speed. Yeah, we have complete control over the entire map. Two hundred CS at nineteen and a half minutes. <laughs> and that's not even farming optimally. But we are so rich. <clears throat> well, we have Baron spawning soon. That might be something you want to have a look at. But for now, we just create pressure passively by pushing past River. Take a chicken, because why not? It's fast and easy. But we shouldn't overextend here. Normally, you want to push past River and then roam. You see, they're already getting in position to punish us for overextending. She's beyond. She, she's 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 just out of there. <laughs> this is Zyra, playing so poorly. Radiant Virtue on Zyra. That's uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure what to think of this player. I hope they got a plan. But yeah, violating basic macro principles got them killed. Alright, so... Yeah, so pushing down top lane. Is she AFK now? No, okay. Good. Was worried for a second. Can we help Echo? Pushing past River would be 
better in a vacuum, but this is a situation that... <laughs> the third auto just outright deletes him, triggering PTA plus Kraken Slayer plus Blade of the Ruined King. Oh god, big lag spike. Luckily nothing... Uh, luckily we weren't fighting during that. But yeah, we just keep snowballing here. And again, easy way to create pressure. We take this wave and then go Baron. I take the wave so fast. Push past River Rome. 226 CS. Yo, that's a record, isn't it? No, it's not. There are people who farm better than me. But I'd like to say this because it sounds cool. Anyway, Shivana? You wanna get deleted too? Okay, she did not manage to steal Baron and she falls to the barrage of auto attacks. I'm just pushing with Baron minions. Proc the shield, so he doesn't have it anymore. Um, we lost two teammates, though. Maybe we should just regroup. Oh, I need a little bit more farm for Infinity Edge. Then I'll be so strong. Your big damage in Yasuo, with just the Kraken Slayer proc off the Q. I haven't used heal once this game, I think. Okay, we're a little bit overextended here, not gonna lie, but I'll take this wave. And I'll get my Infinity Edge for the smooth power curve. <clears throat> yeah, let's just regroup. There we go. Now we're cooking 300 attack damage, 40% crit, good attack speed to go with it. And of course the bonus critical strike damage. <laughs> 7 and 0. Legendary. We mustn't die here, that's a big throw. Okay, um, yeah. Shivana saw that 1000 gold shutdown on my head. Thought I'm just an AD carry, she can delete. No, you can't delete. I delete you right back. That's how it goes. Dragon in 7 seconds. Yeah, this Drake Soul will go a long way. Closing out this game. Yeah, easy. Nice. Alright. Um, let's... Well, we kind of wasted our Baron buff. There's not much of it left. And... Well, we didn't really take an inhibitor or anything with it. Come on, let me move! Heal. Okay, I needed four autos to delete him. But still, the damage is absurd. Had I pressed Q instead of one auto, then probably three would have been enough. Well, I mean... Ah, this doesn't work. Only one minion is not enough here. Am I dead? Or am I strong enough? Okay, perfect. We're fine. We're fine. It's all good. You had 2,700 damage of Blade of the Ruined King, 1,400 of Kraken Slayer, 1,600 from Presti Attack, the triple strike build. Putting in the finest of work here. And that's an inhibitor, finally. Plus top lane inhibitor too, I guess. Let's be careful, let's not get caught. Yeah, so Windwall on cooldown. Oh god, that hit me. Yeah, now pushing bot lane is a free win. Oh, Zyra, are you fine? She dodged into it. Guys, please, just go bot lane. Why would you fight there? It makes no sense. Whew, 
Drake's soul saving his life. Yeah, I'll just walk with him. Just so he's extra safe. Okay, Shivana down. They're still looking for us, okay. Now they're low-key over-chasing. Anyway, let's just ignore. This is the plan. Just move. Do it. Baron spawning in one. I mean, there's no reason not to just push bot lane. Except for I'm now all by myself, the team doesn't follow, so I can't be here. Because they might just go for me instantly. Alright, we're one minute early, there's no Baron on the map to take, so not sure what they're trying to do there. But I'll follow. Making a bad play with the team is always better than making a good play by yourself. <laughs> That's one of the har harshest lessons you need to learn in League of Legends. If your team doesn't follow suit, it doesn't matter how good your idea is. Alright, so, um, 15 seconds left. We just, I mean, if we're committing to doing this, then we at least should take Baron on spawn. Oh man. Oh man, okay, the team wants to fight instead. I'm getting wind walled. Yeah, okay. I committed to the bad play with the team, I paid the price for it, but at least the bad play is not completely terrible, it's still low-key worked out. And by low-key worked out, I mean it was still terrible. Anyway, we got the Baron. Can't argue with that, at least. Um, yeah, Lord Doms. The Giant Slayer bonus damage is probably more valuable than the healing reduction. Anyway, please, team. Yeah, finally someone else also makes the bot lane call. <laughs> let's just... Let's just, um... Well, make the winning play. How about that? How about that, my friends? Anyway, so for the last, for the final items... This is just pure damage amplification, obviously. But for the final items, I recommend Bloodthirster and then selling boots for Shield Bow. You won't need boots in the late game, you have enough attack speed and enough movement speed, and you will also always keep your movement speed as long as you're shielded, as I've explained. So, with a lifesteal, your strut is an extremely reliable source of movement speed. And it's just a ton of damage, getting the extra legendary item instead of boots. Misfortune does have this luxury. I should probably not have taken these Krugs, but instead joined the team. But 300 CS at 29 minutes is just too juicy. Okay, almost 30 minutes, I admit it. But, um... Oh, oh, oh god, okay. For a second I thought they were trying to tower dive. Anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Just siege with Baron minions. And stay away from Yasuo angles. I'll just hold this. Yep. Not the cleanest, not the best play. Again, the team is so impatient. They could we could just be taking the free stuff, winning the game, but you know. You know how it goes here. I'll just start it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're on the right track. Again, the team's macro calls are making this way more difficult than it needs to be. But we're getting there. And I miss another cannon minion. Such a shame. I'm by myself here. I'll still take this at least. The more you can steal from the enemy, the better. 
330 CS at 21 minutes. Why am I so good at this game? <laughs> Yo, but this build is legit fire. It does put in the work. There we go. Getting richer by the minute. I'd like to base and spend my golds, but the pressure we create with a team here is too good. I don't want to miss out on the fights. They need me. Top lane inhibitor is what they want to go for, so I just join. Enemy killing spree. Yikes. Windwall should still be on cooldown, right? Oh god, please save me. Everything's full of gin traps, what on earth? What a mess. Just push bot lane. They just don't want to push bot lane. Just ult for chip damage. We need to disengage here anyway because the team's too impatient. Pushing bot lane is a concept that doesn't exist for them, huh? Oh, didn't mean to steal that, but uh, it happens. I have so much gold, but no time to spend it because the team's perma fighting. Everything full of gin traps. Yo, please, just back off and let's get our items. It would be so much better. 350 CS, <laughs> 33 minutes. We're kind of rocking this, aren't we? <clears throat> okay, 80%, no, 60% crit, or what? Yeah, no, 80% crit, and 450 AD. We're so strong. And please, just as a team, push bot lane. Why wouldn't you? There's no re Okay, Baron is spawning. Okay, that's that's actually a valid, a valid reason to not go bot lane right now. <sighs> Still perma fighting for nothing. Okay. Maybe I should have bought Shield Bow instead of Bloodthirster. Would have made this less sketchy, I think. Why are these traps everywhere? Anyway, back to full HP we go, and I'll just move with the with the sieging part of the team. Screw Baron. And now, please, okay, now Fury finally gets the minion wave bot lane. So we're finally making progress on the map, which we could have done ages ago. Sneaking in an auto attack, but yeah, the team still split, still not really on the same page. Three hundred seventy CS <laughs> at thirty-five minutes. This Zerath starts to hurt, though. But we're still not quite full build because we can sell boots for shield bow. Okay, Zerath flash. Back to full HP we go. Laugh tap the tower. Just stay safe while doing so. They have minions in their base. When do they finally start crumbling to the pressure? Okay, there we go. Tower down. They need to respond to the base tower pressure soon. Gotta stay safe. Try 
Dragon Shivana kind of bad here. So much poke damage. Okay, uh, Elder number two, sure. Oh, man, this team really struggling to finish. Okay, another Elder. Please tell me it's enough. There we go. That's one. That's another one. Yeah, Elder is doing its job now. Finally. Okay, she was checkmated anyway. Nice, finally. They're all down. And all we need is... Wait, we have no minions. Can we even finish? They're all still dead. Why would you recall there? Okay, let's go. If he can tank it, that's perfect. We have still enough time. Okay, okay, we don't need minions. We're at this point. Finally! If you want to see a non-crit misfortune build, though, or, I mean, you know, my channel is all about good builds that work, so click the link on your screen.